Hey guys, Nexus here, back with a second kick chain video, kick chain number two. Now I just want to reiterate that these aren't in any specific order, it's just how I feel like uploading them, you know, whenever they come to mind. And this one just so happens to be a very, very basic one. Okay, maybe not that basic, but you know what I mean. It's a beginner level kind of kick chain as compared to the last one, which was intermediate, somewhere in the middle. So I'm sure all you guys will be able to get this without much of an issue. And what it turns into really is a lesson on forward momentum. How to keep moving forward without kind of bogging yourself down during these kicks. And I could stand here and talk about it, but that's not going to do you guys any good until you see what I'm talking about. So, smash cut to demonstration. Now, the two kicks I used there were the front kick and the jumping front kick. Both these kicks really aren't that hard to wrap your mind around. Just take a little bit of practice to get down, and I have a tutorial for both of them right here. So if you need to learn those, refresh your memory, whatever, there they are. And yeah, on a personal note, quick disclaimer, I am kind of bound up by these jeans. Can't get my legs as high as I'd like to, so that should look better than it does. It doesn't, I apologize, but it gets the message across. Anyway, some of the final points of doing this really deals with the moving forward of it. And I mentioned this in the second basic form video, where you have that move down the middle, where you start here, upper block, and then you have these front kicks, and you move down the row. Is that when people try to do these kicks moving forward, they do it all at once, and they end up throwing all their weight in front, and they fall out of it. They land really heavy on that front leg. And what happens when you do that is one, there's really no control there. You're kind of open to whatever somebody feels like throwing into your face. You're on the defense. And two, you can't do anything with this front leg. You're like pinned down. If you need to move it, you have to like press back up. If you're going to try and throw another kick, like in the kick chain, you have to press back up and drag your leg through that. You can't think of it as moving forward all at once. What you need to do is think about it as coming up to the center, throwing your kick, and then moving back out, and then you can do it again. Try not to think forward, forward all the time. There's no, there's no good way to keep your energy through that. You have to come up, kick, 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 and kind of keep yourself centered as you go down the row. And aside from that, there's really nothing else to keep in mind. I mean, obviously, keep your arms up, rule number one, first thing they tell you when you come into a martial arts class. and that these are front kicks, you know, point your foot, toes that way, that kind of thing. Aside from that, just stick to the fundamentals of the kicks, work on not letting your weight drag you and moving forward of your own accord as opposed to being pulled by your strike, and you should be golden. See? Told you it was basic. And because of that, I'm filming another one in like five seconds here that's back to that intermediate advanced kind of level. So, now that I'm telling you this, I have to do it and future me has to upload it because now it's on film. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.